hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to run python programs that were uploaded in github on your local machine for demo i'm picking some random project from the github you can select any other project it's not a big deal just make sure it is a fundamentals project since you are beginning with python on the screen you see a github project i have opened in github let me download it now select download zip wait for the download to be finished right click and show in folder right click again and extract all wait for the extraction to be completed the folder automatically opens once the extraction is completed the window is open now you can see there are a lot of folders in this project keep it aside and let's check whether python is installed on this local machine or not we need python to run these programs right okay so that's why we'll check whether python is installed or not we will check this by opening command prompt and typing python in the command prompt window so here uh, you can see that microsoft store has automatically opened which means that python is not installed on my local machine these are some improvements that were made to the operating system to help beginners i can just click on get to get the software downloaded and installed automatically let's see what happened when i click on the launch well this opens the python window automatically but this is not exactly what i want i want to actually check python from the command prompt let me close the opened window and now try python command on the command prompt you can see it has launched python so now i am exiting this means that python is installed on my local machine so let me check this code now and see if i could be able to run some examples from there so let me check the code well this looks like some json code okay so let's find out what exactly this means uh, probably this is uh, due to the extension of the files so let's try to find out what does the extension means from the internet so let's search with what is ipynb extension well ipynb is a python notebook and it contains the notebook code okay the, well this means that it's not a regular python file so as for my experience i understand what exactly is needed to open these files so let's start installing the necessary software that were required to open these files if by any chance if you are seeing any different extensions for the project you have chosen from github maybe a little research in google could help you but for the most of the scenarios i think whatever solution that we are going to do now is suitable for all python programs let me open a new tab search for anaconda and click on download now click on the script registration and then download wait for the download to be finished and double click to start the installation the setup could take some time to extract and load once done just follow the standard instructions
and wait for the installation to be completed. Here we go. Now this is the last screen. Make sure launch Anaconda Navigator is selected and then click on finish. Close the unnecessary pop-ups. Wait for the program to be launched. Find Jupyter Notebook and click on launch. This takes you to the browser and Jupyter Notebook will be launched. Well, if you have reached this page, it means that Jupyter Notebook is set up on your mission. So let's find our project and open a file here and see if it works or not. So this is how uh, the Jupyter Notebook files will look in your browser. So there are number of features. You can add new code and run the existing code and see how it works. So I'm, I'm trying to add a new block of code here and add two numbers and see if it's working. So in Python, adding two numbers is as simple as just giving two plus two. So and the result is four. So this means that Python is working and the rest of the programs will obviously work. Congratulations, you have set up Python on your mission and you can run the Python programs on your mission. So from here, uh, you can start practicing the fundamentals of Python and take your learning to next level like data science or artificial intelligence. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like, subscribe and comment for more videos like this.